walking into the ring right now, getting set to make his pro debut is Marvin Eastman. He is from Las Vegas. Marvin Eastman. He's a uh, North Las Vegas corrections officer. Marvin the Beast Man Eastman. I like that name. That's a great name. I, I tell you what, he could be a star as a pro because he's got the nickname for it. But 34 years old and making his uh, pro debut a little bit late. He's had some experience in mixed martial arts. And quite honestly, that hasn't gone all that well. I saw him in a K1 bout oh, uh, a couple of years ago. He had one of the worst cuts I have ever seen uh, in a fight. Uh, hopefully he'll do better here. And here's his opponent making his way to the ring right now. Big Willie Brody. Willie Brody is two and seven. Hasn't knocked anybody out in nine fights. His last fight came on the 12th of this month. He won in a unanimous decision in a four-rounder in the Paradise Punch-Out in Bermuda. Beating well, Michael good. Rothberger. <laughs> how, how good is that? You, you go down to Bermuda, you get a knockout win, or a decision win, actually, and, and get paid for it. That's not a bad I wish deal. I could get paid to go down to Bermuda. Willie Brody out of East Hartford, Connecticut, originally in South Carolina. This looks like it's got all the makings of uh, a terrific brawl. Before we uh, see that action unfold, Jake Gutierrez must introduce the fighters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we move up to the big men of boxing. We bring you four rounds in the heavyweight division. The three judges scoring this bout will be Paul Smith, Robert Hoyle, and Adelaide Bird. And your referee in charge is Toby Gibson. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 211 pounds, and he's wearing these solid black trunks. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he makes his professional debut. He is from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome Marvin, the Beastman Eastman. And his opponent, he fights out of the red corner. He also weighed in at 211 pounds. He's wearing white trimmed in black. His professional record stands at two wins with seven defeats. From Hartford, Connecticut, here is Willie Brody. Therefore, Toby Gibson will now give the instructions hey, to gentlemen, I've given Eastman your instructions prior to this fight in your respective dressing rooms. Both trunks are legal height. I'm considering this a legal punch. Any questions from the blue corner? Any questions from the red corner? Obey my commands. Good luck to both of you. Good luck. All right, we're set for a heavyweight battle here at the Silverado. Let me do that again, Justin. And we're set for a heavyweight battle here at the Silverton Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Joe LaGuardia presenting the star boxing card here tonight. We look at Willie Brody in the white trunks and Marvin Eastman in the black trunks. And you talked about it, Dave. Eastman, no stranger to the ring. He has fought not only in UFC, but in K-1. And also, uh, probably as a corrections officer in North Las Vegas. Probably had a few scraps. Break. Brody's the guy with the experience. He's had nine pro fights with uh, mixed success. Has a couple of decision victories, seven losses. But he is off a win, so he's got a little momentum coming in, hoping to get his career on track. Neither guy is young. Uh, they are both 34 years old. Brody landing the first significant punch in the fight right there. He roundhouse left it, got in, but no damage done to the beast man. That, on the other hand, may have hurt more. Right to the body. Marvin Eastman, also a college running back. And he's got Brody running back right there. Yeah, he's been, he's been around Vegas a long time, played at UNLV. Played at UNLV, in fact, rushed for nearly a thousand yards in his career. Good athlete. Eastman trying to clinch. So they work into the near corner. Missed a nice big job. roundhouse. Uh, nice job by Eastman to get underneath that, and he did some damage to Brody along the ropes. Got a good right hand, and uh, I think he may have hurt Brody just a little bit. We'll see if he can follow up. Nice right to the body right there. Well, those are good punches in the heavyweight division. They have a tremendous impact. Come here, both of you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
quit the wrestling and quit the holding. Toby Gibson giving him the warning to stop the wrestling, stop the holding, and get back to boxing. Punchy, get out. Let's go, Punchy, get out. Get off his neck. Get off. Gotta like a referee that takes control early in the bout so that the fighters know what they can and can't get away with early. Action right above us at ringside right now. Head. He's been pinned against the ropes. He wants to get out of there. Close first round. I think Marvin's head's slightly the better of it so far, thanks to his body work. That's a good spin move right there. He wasn't able to land a punch. And the wrestling does continue. You gotta think that Eastman making his pro boxing debut. Again, he's no stranger to the ring, but Break. this is his pro boxing debut. Big night for him. In case the nerves coming in. Now you get that first round out of the way. And you can see him feeling a little bit more comfortable with the way that he's approaching this fight as round one comes to an end. Two aggressive heavyweights. Yeah, and, and, and I think this, it's safe to say that uh, we didn't see any future Ali's in there. Um, you know, not a lot of style, but uh, very aggressive. Uh, big punches being thrown. And, and I thought Eastman did a good job defensively, in particular. Nine or less to the loser of the round. It is possible to have an even round where you give it 10 points apiece. But those are discouraged strongly uh, by most athletic commissions here in Nevada. In the event of a knockdown or a dominant round, it can be 10-8. So you might want to keep score at home and see if you agree with me. Go clean it up inside. Clean it up inside. Eastwood on the left, Brody on the right. And Brody, two and seven. Right after his first nine professional bouts, and this is the first professional boxing match for Marvin Eastman. And from very different parts of the world here. Yeah, Brody could be looking at trouble once again. Well, he's hungry. Eastman is hungry. When he saw trouble, he really went after Brody. Brody took a deep breath just now. Those body punches by Marvin Eastman. There's another one. Strong left of the body. Uh, those, those body punches are having a significant impact. They're setting up a big punch. I think, I think he's going to stop Brody, and I don't, think, uh, I don't think it'll go the distance. I don't think it'll complete this round, I should say. I think Brody's getting set to get knocked out. Brody's got some wide eyes right now. Oh, I, those body punches have uh, definitely sapped his strength. Brody does not have a victory over a fighter with a victory. His two losses came against winless fighters. There's two wins, I should say. And he is not where he wants to be. I right, sure is. The only good thing about being in this corner is he won't have a long walk after he gets stopped. That's his corner. He's hanging in there, though. But it seems like a lot of wind is going out of the sails of uh, Mr. Brody at this point. And if you're Eastman, you've got to take advantage of the situation right now. Round two, getting older and older. got the guy on the run you're going to take advantage of it and what Brody does is get him locked up and Toby Gibson telling Brody don't hold Swap shot thrown on the break there by Marvin Easton he's fighting a lot of confidence right now can smell that first win but there's still a ways to go it's only the second round scheduled for four good right to the body again he missed with the left at Eastman, but that, that right definitely found its mark. And he should continue that body attack. He can get a knockout without throwing a headshot in this fight. Big right hand, now the left to the body by Eastman. And again, another clinch. Talked about scoring rounds, and even without a knockdown, you can have a 10-8 round if it's a dominant round. This would be a very good example of that, Tim. Uh, if the bell were to sound right now, this would have to be a 10-8 round for Marvin Eastman. He is completely dominating. Brody trying to sneak a right hook to the body, but it was blocked by Eastman. That was a little bit 
low. It was on the leg, actually. Keep him up. And Toby Gibson noticed it. Round two. Huge round for Marvin Eastman. Big round for Eastman. And it comes to a close right now. In this four-round bout, he's won half the rounds already. Yeah, and, and uh, under the scoring system that's, that's utilized, uh, it, it's significant to note that you know, he's ahead by three points in all likelihood. Judges are here in Nevada are actually encouraged in the uh, event of a fairly one-sided round to make it 10-8. Uh, Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. And Toby Gibson that uh, Brody might not be coming out in the third round, but he is. He does not look like the picture of confidence right now. And Marvin Eastman is looking to get to 1-0. Oh. He's excited. You start this round in the middle of the ring. I have a suspicion it won't be in the middle for very long. The way this fight has gone. And Brody connecting to the head of Eastman with the left hook. Straight left there by Beastman, the Beast Man, Marvin Eastman. I don't think it's going to take much. A couple of good body shots. There's one by Brody. That might have been the best punch he's thrown in the fight. But it was a slap from long distance and had no impact at all from Eastman. I think as a corrections officer, word gets back to the uh, uh, people he's dealing with. Nobody's going to mess with Marvin. It's going to be his easiest day ever on the job. Yes, sir, Mr. Eastman. You bet. <laughs> Again, he is one tough guy. He doesn't just know the sweet sides. Came up with mixed martial arts. Yeah. Give Brody credit too, you know. He, you're the visiting fighter, you know, it's not exactly for a world title. He took a pretty good pounding in round two. Uh, I would have been shocked that he didn't come out in round three. He's out there giving it his best. Gotta give him points for that. Oh, that was a beautiful combination. Hey, that looked like good technical stuff there from Marvin Eastman. That was impressive. Stepped right into it. Yep. Brody trying to fight back, trying to throw an uppercut, just got stung with the right of the body, though. He missed with that big right hand. Now he's in trouble up against the ropes. And what, what, hanging really, on. what really impresses me here, Tim, Marvin Eastman continues to go to the body. He is not panicked at all, gotten overexcited, thinking, I got him where I want him. Let's try and get him out of here. He's still sticking to his game plan. That's a real good sign. Oh. He's been letting Brody have it while Brody's head was between here. the ropes. Pay attention. Let's go. Warning from referee go. Toby Gibson. His head was through the ropes. In fact, he almost became an uninvited guest yes. in a broadcast yeah. position. I was backing up. <laughs> Come on, punch it, get out. Strongest right, he's throwing a bit, but the counter by Eastman. Get off his neck. Connects. Get off his neck. Michael Brody might be a fellow New Englander, but I don't want to meet him that bad. Need him. Fellow, fellow Rhode Island. Oh. New England is a Connecticut. Yeah, we got a Rhode Island guy yeah, coming up later on the card. Yeah, we'll be unbiased to that fight. Sure we will. <laughs> no, we will. Eastman's got an opportunity here, Dave. And the bell buys a little time for Willie Brody. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. And take a chance. For Eastman, what does he have to be looking out for? He's got to be a little bit more conservative, don't you think? See, I've never subscribed to that theory. I think that you keep on doing what works. Um, you know, 
prevent defenses in football. Best way to lose a game. Uh, well, Brody's coming after him to start the fourth round. Oh yeah, and Michael Brody's really putting forth a terrific effort. I, he's losing the fight, really Brody, I should say. Uh, but uh, uh, he's earning some respect. Right. Whoop. Down to the knee. That was a slip. He slipped. He is pretty tired. And uh, again, I'll say that if Eastman can get him in the body uh, with a good punch, uh, he might might be able to stop him. Yeah, well, that was a good solid left. That hurt, he, that hurt Brody, he's hurt. Eastman standing him up in the corner. Eastman using the ropes to hold Brody up. But Brody keeps on coming. He's don't tough. Throw him, don't throw him. Why'd you get out? Marvin Eastman. Corrections officer from nearby oh, North Las Vegas. Good shots. Good shots. Oh, that's a big left. Big right, big left. Goodbye. That's it. It's over. A TKO in his professional debut for the running. Marvin the Beastman Eastman, a 34-year-old heavyweight in his first pro boxing match. And Willie Brody not very happy as uh, he gets the bad news and heads back to his corner. Uh, but Marvin Eastman was all over him there. That was uh, a tremendous way to finish. That's how you get a guy out of there. And he left Beastman hopeless and helpless against the ropes. And Toby Gibson did the right thing in calling a halt. Dr. So. Margaret Goodman looking in on Willie Brody right now. The doctors at ringside. The lead is Margaret Goodman. You see her there. And Albert Capana. Dr. Capana also there. So. Brody appears to be all right, and Marvin Eastman in the middle of the ring, posing right now. We go to ring announcer Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Toby Gibson stops this bout at one minute, 21 seconds of the fourth round. The winner by TKO victory in his professional debut, Marvin the Beastman Eastman. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for his opponent this evening from Connecticut, Willie Brody. Well, the good news, he's 1-0 as a pro. The bad news is he's 34. If he was 24, he'd have a little bit more of a longer career to look forward to. Trip Mitchell is in the ring with our winner, Marvin Eastman. Hi, right, Marvin, what did... Tell me your thoughts, making your pro de de debut, knocking him out in the fourth. What's it like to be here in Las Vegas? Uh, it's great because that's where I live and it's where I train. And uh, I'm a really a wrestler. I took up some different trades. I'm an athlete, you know, so I'm just trying to stay busy, you know. Running, former collegiate running back, tell me, it, making your pro debut. Now, were you working on things? You almost took him out in the second. Were you uh, told to be patient by your corner? Yeah, because I always refer back to mixed martial arts where you have so many way, I mean, weapons coming at you. And I always felt like I had to be like the Matrix and to, uh, avoid everything. But in this, you ain't got but two weapons, and that's the hand. So you don't have to slip all the way to the ground. You just slip and stand, if, stand up in the box.